Hello and welcome to Business Reporter's Digital Transformation Campaign. All organisations want to develop the right user experience, and yet most of them struggle, as they need help understanding their customers. What do customers expect? How can brands improve their businesses with sophisticated insights into the user experience? User testing, the world's leading human insight platform, has served Fortune 100 companies for two decades. They encourage everybody to use AI, artificial intelligence, ambitiously. How? Let's hear the answers from Ranjitha Kumar, Chief Scientist, and Andy McMillan, CEO of User Testing. What are the challenges and opportunities that your customers face? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges is companies are going through digital transformation at amazing speeds. But one of the big issues for them is they need to know their customers well while they do this. And while they collect a lot of data about their customers, they don't really know what it's like to be their customer going through those experiences. So how do you actually get feedback early in the process from your customers? And then how do you do that at massive scale? Because it's a lot of data to go through. And so we see a lot of folks looking at new technologies like AI and new feedback loops so they can build better products more quickly for their customers. We hear that AI is changing our lives. So how is it doing that? And what impact does that have on UX? Well, I think first, AI is going to change the interfaces that we deliver to our customers. And second, I think AI is going to change the way feedback is collected. Now, AI triggers the change from how we search and browse to how we write text. I want to understand how these changes in the user expectations and behavior impact the lives and working environments for those professionals who develop that user experience. Well, I think one of the big aspects of AI when it comes to research and science is that so many teams are shorthanded. AI can act like a research assistant that can scale and help teams work through all of those different phases of research and help them just be more efficient. What happens to the legacy systems organizations use and how can the same organizations build their AI capabilities? I think a lot of what we're seeing is AI connecting into existing business processes. Ultimately, most businesses are still about people in a business connecting with the people that are their customers. And I think AI is gonna play a way to help us scale the way those interactions happen um, to make those interactions perhaps more seamless, easier for customers to use. Uh, but ultimately, I still think it's about connecting people to each other. Okay, let's return to understanding the users and developing great UX. Where do we start? We can actually focus on what's important, which is building great uh, user experiences for our customers. We can build solutions faster with them, and getting that right is always tricky if you're spending all of your time training models and figuring out how to build all that infrastructure. So I'm really excited about this future. If everybody adopts these methods and technologies, the future of UX becomes a zero-sum game. Everybody has the same capabilities, don't they? The great news is there's all this room for differentiation. The goal is always to create a great user experience for your customers. If you really understand the user needs in your domain, what you're going to offer as a solution is going to be unique compared to other people in the field. The other place where you can differentiate yourself is just around how you work with your data. You can always start with a base model, an open source model, and then use your own data to fine tune it and then actually provide um, custom and personalized experiences for your customers. I think that's a great point Ranjitha makes, and I would add that for a long time there's been commoditization in how we build applications with things like the cloud providers, and we've had the ability to distribute apps now very quickly with all of our mobile devices. That's really created as a place where companies have to differentiate on the experience that they're creating, not just on the technology, and I think AI will be similar. It won't just be do people understand AI, it will be how are they using AI to create a specifically better experience for their customers. What would you say to a skeptic who says that AI can't replace human intuition? The good news is human insights are always important. And so 
human insights at the end of the day, that's, that's what everyone wants to get to. All of this machine learning and AI is helping you get to the insights that matter the most. How does user testing protect privacy and personal data? Our approach to AI has been to focus on a couple of key principles. We're trying to keep the humanity of what we do as part of the AI. So behind everything that we're doing and collecting, there's real people that have opted in to sharing their information, and then we're analyzing that and providing it to our customers. One thing every company is going to have to analyze now is the data that they, they sit on, what models are they training with that data? Do those models belong to them or are those models publicly available? And so we're putting a lot of work into making sure with every one of our customers it's clear how their data is used, what their data is training, um, and making sure that they're comfortable that they're getting exactly what they're looking for out of the AI solutions that we provide. Looking into the future, what are the foreseeable changes and improvements that an organization can anticipate? Really, it's about helping them scale. Um, what we hear from folks all the time that are going through digital transformation is they want to make sure that they're building the right thing the first time. It's very expensive to build the wrong thing and ship it out to your customers. But when we talk to designers, product managers, uh, researchers, none of them have enough time or enough resources to get all of the feedback that they need without the help of AI. No company should be guessing anymore. You shouldn't be building a product and hoping that your launch is successful. You should actually be collaborating with your customers on the designs, making sure that what you're building works for them, and then shipping with certainty so that you can meet these changing needs. Could you give us some key takeaways for us to remember? I think it's that the pace of change is going to continue to accelerate and AI is going to be a driver of that acceleration. And if you want to be where your customers need you to be, you have to find ways to bring them into the design process a lot earlier. That was Ranjitha Kumar, Chief Scientist and Andy McMillan, CEO of User Testing.